military-style assault weapons. Larry Hogan opposed banning them in Maryland. Hogan would allow them on our streets, in public places. He even opposed common sense background checks, weapons that fired dozens of bullets in a matter of seconds. The press likes to use those words, trigger words, if I might add, assault rifle, military, fully automatic. This is a fully automatic assault rifle. This is banned, it's prohibited, and limited almost virtually to police and military use. A citizen cannot go into the store and purchase this. And yet, uh, this is usually one that's displayed uh, on your television set. These are usually the terms used by the news media. Then they'll pick up a semi-automatic firearm. This is a semi-automatic firearm. Uh, the primary difference is that the assault rifle, the fully automatic firearm, you pull a trigger once and it will repeatedly fire and will continue to fire until all rounds are expended. This is a semi-automatic uh, firearm. You fire once with each pull of the trigger. If you notice, these two firearms look alike. They look very much alike. They operate entirely differently. This one is legal, semi-automatic. This one is an illegal fully automatic. They look alike. Here, I have a hunting rifle. This is also semi-automatic and one used for hunting game. This also, being semi-automatic, fires one round with each pull of the trigger. If you notice, these two do not look alike, but they function alike. They are virtually the same, only cosmetically different. It's important to keep that in mind. A person will say, this is fully automatic, the uninformed, most of the time the press, will refer to this as a fully automatic assault rifle and this as a fully automatic assault rifle. Please, by definition, this is the assault rifle. This is the only one that's fully automatic. It's prohibited uh, for purchase uh, in the United States except by police and law enforcement. 